Ari. tracks here in second head downtown uh, it's been a long week of legal activism on in the federal court system next week I'll be in the municipal and, uh, court system here in Austin fighting for misdemeanors uh, that I've been charged with while filming uh, just interference charges that they're charging me while they're interfering with me they're charging me for crossing the street uh, lose your head so um, we're gonna go out tonight, take a look downtown Austin, see what's going on in downtown Austin. You know, you know people are out partying, coming down off their high-rise lofts, come see the nightlife, what they pay for, and they want to know what's going on, man. What's going on in Austin tonight? Is there some fun? Well, I want to make sure it is fun. We don't need no shenanigans. Austin's a great town to live in, great town to party, a great town to enjoy yourself and have a meal on 6th Street. Should be a great town, even if you're poor or if you're rich. And I'm here to make uh, sure that happens in my own little way. Hope all of you guys do too. Namaste, y'all. pressure. Any idiot knows apply pressure. A man could pass out. A man could suffer physical, mental 
more physical and mental trauma than you've already put on them, compounding the issue by not offering uh, at least pressure. Okay, they're gonna take him out of his cuffs at least. They didn't have EMS till just now. Okay. He, he's been sitting there for 30 minutes bleeding. I just saw him walk up, dude. It's been like 10 minutes. Well, I've got video. So. It's been 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Would you apply pressure if it was your grandma? What's just bleeding now? Oh, he's just bleeding deeply from his temple. From his face, yeah. 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 Is it life threatening? Uh, it could be. It could be totally traumatic. No. I think you got in a fight with someone and then they caught him. Well, that could be possible, but never, nobody will ever know right. until somebody asks the right questions. Thanks for asking the right questions. Yeah, you're welcome. I just don't understand. <laughs> uh, you're trying to make a big deal out of nothing. I haven't made a big deal. You're trying to make a big deal. No. I was you're just standing recording. minding my own business. You're recording a police officer. So right, recording. it's a First Amendment protected speech, right? Go to peacefulstreets.com and yeah. we'll talk all about it. And then if there's good video, it'll be up there. Okay. So the GIs on steroids want to come and troll you when you're like trying to figure out why this guy's bleeding out the side of his head. So we're going to go at a distance over here and see what we can see. So I really don't have time to talk to stupid people. Some people do. I don't. Now, we're, now that we're not being trolled. Now what's going on with EMS? I don't see any EMS here. All I see is police officers. One guy I can't see, but it looks like they're all police officers. 
that guy could pass out from lack of blood. Oh, that backwards. You got him standing up. So when you're standing up, you can fall further and hurt yourself more. More impact to the ground. And when you can't fall on your hands, you just fall on your shoulders, your hips, your head. But I can see why that guy didn't want me to film. Because he's a coward. Um, it's not really an education issue. I could tell by his belligerence. I could be wrong. I just don't engage people in their belligerence. So the man over there said that the cops were kneeing uh, this guy in the face, his friend. I gave him my card, and, or our cards, for Peaceful Street. So there are lawyers available. The police haven't done anything. It's been over 30 minutes. Now EMS is finally here. But the police haven't tried to apply any kind of pressure at all. Sergeant Stansfield looks like he's the supervisor in charge again. And of course, he never sees anything. Sergeant Deere never sees anything. The bouncers beat up their friend, and then the cops came and beat him up in the face and were kneeing him and stuff too. Bouncers beat up their friend, according to them, in the bar. Uh, he's black, and he's got blood all over his face, and he's in cuffs. And they're, they, the EMS finally got here like 30 minutes later. I didn't see the fight, I've just been watching him because I didn't know what happened. He's good, it's just, it's just he's no bleeding bleed. bad. I don't know. I mean, you know, if you bleed enough and they got you standing around in cuffs, you could fall over and you can't and grab you were just it. Yeah, I was filming this part. I didn't see the fight part, so I'm just filming the part. I was I saw. here when, when the. Uh, when, nah. Like, like, nah, it was because he was with his girl, you feel me? And then, like, the girl pushed, you know what I'm talking about? The, the cops was right there, though, because they saw him push her, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. so when they did that, 
some nigga like came out, hit that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then the part the part the, the police came and got him, put him in handcuffs and shit. But I ain't telling you nothing that the laws ain't see. Yeah. You know well, that's why I gotta film, you know. Make sure. Oh, EMS is over there. Got him all locked up now. Maybe not. Oh. Right there. Someone want to help this man, please? EMS, don't just stand there. I mean, really, haven't we seen enough of this yet? People of Austin, have you seen enough? Looks like you get beat up by Austin police at a bar with your girlfriend. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.